morning and welcome to my daily vlog of life and our beef and our fan but today we are in the NEC and we're gonna see lots and lots of tractors there's a Kubota in the background but that is like small fry compared to what is gonna be in these halls so check it out in the video hopefully you enjoy it if you do press like and subscribe thank you so we've got lots of machinery already here lots of curb Boaters, EW25, does anybody know who that is? Let me know in the comments if you do. Yeah. Kubota 173, so I think, can't they like spec, aren't they, they all the same engine and they just have increased the power rating on each one. Yeah, there's quite a uh, show of Kubota stuff in here. Look at this. Proper big screen. That Andy. Oh, <laughs> you said it. Coyote. Look at that. A push off K2 trailer. That is a beast, is that? Look at the size of wheels under. And at the back here. Wow. Red Rock have got some uh, nice kit in as well. This looks like a... Yeah, this is a monster of a trailer. Triple axle. It's gotta be 20, 20, what do you reckon, like 20, is that reckon 25 ton? 25 cube. Cube, mm. We're thinking that it's probably a um, ton. But I have steering axle lash. Uh, no, I don't think it has. They are steering front and back. Jeez, you reckon that's to stop like you're scrubbing on them? <laughs> <laughs> They're well built then, aren't they, into chassis? There you go, there's your brand. Yeah, but that's to stop wheels scrubbing against it and bending them we had a Viedemann a little one a bendy but it looks like they've got some absolute weapons on here this one here I would love to give a try of is it like five ton it's quite comparable to the TM um, for 20s maybe a little bit <laughs> somebody waving in there um, maybe a little bit more of a payload. Yeah, that is a weapon. We'll have a look in the cab, I think, in a second. A few steps to get up into here. But then, when we're in... Yeah, it's a, it's a lot, um, a lot bigger than RTM, let's put it that way. What a beast. You can speed it up and slow it down. Hey, I like that, that now that it stops in forwards. I know in some of them, you push it and it always reverts back into the middle. It looks like, I like that, I like that. You can always, by just touching the joystick, you know if it's in forwards or backwards. That's, yeah, it's, it's a small feature, but I like the, yeah, I like it. That, it's weird that I like that, but yeah, I do. Bale chasers here. We have talked about them before, but I don't think it'd work on our farm. You can only carry like 12 bales, whereas it's like, we can carry back 30. We can carry 33 on the big trailer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice though. Trouble in here. I'm doing the same. Just remember, I'm here just for one day. Um, get like sort of hung up on Viedemanns and wanting one of them. Monster beet harvesters. That is a beast, isn't it? We used to grow sugar beet back in the day. So a massive tanker. Look at the suction pipe on that. Yeah. He's just Make a presence coming down the road in that. And he's taking some loving pictures of his masses. You never did get me a demo. <laughs> if we get one, Andy, you have to come back. You'll be back. <laughs> Just in front of the, the masses, 425 horsepower. But we've bumped into a fellow YouTuber. So. Yep. Mr. Silly Pete, farming simulator. Bumped into Joe, and it's absolutely amazing to, to meet the real farming guys. When we do it, and the real tractors, and the real tractor, that 9S is amazing. <laughs> but that hopefully is coming to the game 
yeah. this week after an eight SM game, so that I think is coming in the new version of the game, so we're kind of buzzing about We'll have to get well. like the Joe Seals farm made on the game. You know what, because I did a series on um, Tom Pemberton's, because they did a Ballon Road one. So I was, what I was going to ask you was, how cool would it be, or what would you think about having a map of your farm? That would be pretty cool, I think. It would be pretty cool. What, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. We'll sort it out. Yeah, we could walk away from this massive with 425 horsepower without just showing you a little bit. It is a fair beast, like. It's got the ball niche on it. You know what price tag is on that? I bet it starts with a three. You know, there's a lot of people like the masses. You even got a combine on the stand over there. Big round baler. Or a wrap around back, innit? Farming simulator! Is it time for mix inventions on a self propelled machine, eh? Is that the way forward? Yeah, that is a, uh, it's a rare beast, is that? Very ugly, but um, still a beast nonetheless. What you used to drive? No, we had one of these on demo. We used to have a Stroudman Rika. Well, that, that 2519, so that's bigger than our Mitsu wagon. It has 22 and a half fuel. Yeah. Um, and this is self propelled, so yeah. drive it from the base. So it's got like a milling head on the front that mills the silage off. That then goes up that conveyor. Mm -hmm and chucks it into the back. You were doing some upskirting, <laughs> eh? You were wrong and You were wrong and We have a local company to us, Philip Watkins. Um, we have one of their tri-tills. And Amy will sell us a box now, won't you? Why should we get a Philip Watkins box, Amy? <laughs> well, no, it's you one. <laughs> If anybody knows Amy, she's the loudest person ever to be at Young Farmers at Doncaster and she's gone all shy on us. Anyway, we'll carry on. We'll see you. We'll leave you in peace. Bye. Bale have got a huge stand here. Lots of fusion balers. Got a demo zone here. I don't think I saw this last year. I think I missed it. Someone's having a go in the Valtra. And um, it's like a three meter trail drill. Spinning that round. It's amazing, but I don't know why they've got one <laughs> Big McHale straw blower on there. Single door to the Looking at back door, and Ash not like it, but um, it looks like it might be either the bales won't go in properly, or it'll be a lot stronger than the teagle. I don't know. What do you reckon? It's all right, on it. It's on the driver. <laughs> oh, it started already. It's the beard be loving this one three five on the acquisition. Like that. Drive yourself in a straight line. Where you go? To Adrian at Entech. Yeah. Looking at his fancy trailers. So all the way from Ireland. Ireland, yeah, County yeah. Calvin. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it is, yeah. It's a good show. You enjoying it? Good show. Brilliant so far. Yeah. So far, so good. We're flat out here. Yeah. So we'll, yeah. We'll have a quick look around these trailers. Yeah. Ah. It's going to show us these sick mud flaps that are on the back of it. Maybe we ought to stop borrowing a trailer and um, and get one bought, eh? Yeah. Look at that. Off we'll that one. Dex. Triple axle. It looks well. Seen here, yeah. we got one, we got these bits for the anti rattle, which is simple that, but it's just simple. effective, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then. Power washing out, easy access into the side. Get in there. Yep. And I have seen in your other trailer, it also comes with a TV, doesn't it? Comes with a TV. <laughs> you think I'm messing it, does it? does. Comes with a TV. This, what a beast, a swather. You don't see many of them used in the UK anymore. 
But if there was a ban on glyphosate, they'd, uh, they'd soon become very, very popular. Huge Fent Ideal tractor at Combine. I'm hearing you saying see what you call it. It's throwing me off track. <laughs> it's a combine, not a tractor. <laughs> Lots of fence about. Rogator. Fair grass collector. And a beast. I didn't think that would look nice in our yard. I've been walking along and thinking, what the hell is this? And I've still not worked it out. Top Cut Collect. Hmm. I'm guessing you tip into it and then it augers it out. But what's it for? I will find out. Oh, it's for getting like black grass out of crops. So we should have two arms at either side, but obviously I'm guessing they can't fit that on the on the stand. But yeah, ah, Ash says it has got them, yeah. So they are the, these are the arms with the blades look at the top and that brushes it in and then it collects it in that hopper that was at the back. Look here. YouTube on YouTube. Weed beat there. Quite interesting I'd quite like to uh, give it a try on some of our resistant grasses um, up and down, take a few out. There's nothing worse than having to pull Rye grass, it's just yeah, it's a nightmare. Huge fent. In fact, last year, this is one that Charlotte Ashley stuck the Joe Seal sticker on front. I haven't brought any with me this year. <laughs> TV lights are here, got their cab on. Now nah, lighting up their um, seed. I wonder how I wonder how long that took them to get them in there to feed them down. I want to want a job. Well, unless the, I bet they. They got pretty good at it, to be honest, doing all them by the end of it. So they didn't get that good at it because they hadn't done this side. <laughs> the monster trailer, looks like it's a high tip one. Oh, of keeping mud off road. Fill that and then put it over the hedge and power it out. It is huge. Actually tip the normal way that a trailer would tips from the front. You see that's where the it tips from. My specialist is that. See that we've got some John Deere's here, some little ones. Quite interested so it's a way of um, grazing without fences. So you must give like an audible alarm and then a shock. So you don't have to, you can just map it out with an app. Seems good. But we found the Clip X Crush section. This is what ours looks like, it's a bit cleaner. Although I think it's a different model to ours. We have got their crushes here. And the sheep runs as well. These are the guns that we've got in a cleaner state than, um, than what we're using. They hand it, we like them. Just had a chat with um, Giles from Paris stand, so um, yeah, we're just um, them guns are great. Basically, just chatting about that. Right, I'm gonna move on to something else. Yeah. This Andy and uh, Ash have found another self-propelled mixer, at a BVL this time. Four-wheel steer, Four steer boost. Not very off-road though, is it? This here is a straw chopper, or hay chopper, or silage chopper, or anything you want to chop, chopper. Look at that for a conveyor, you can get some piled up with that. Look at them hammers. Boost. Look at that. Got belts on it. Yeah, the screens, that's the size of the stuff that's coming through. Then you've got two augers in the bottom and a massive conveyor. Boosh, take it up there. That's a proper silage grab, isn't it? No real we messing about. Having the one that we got. Wonder what sort of loader you need for that. Hello Andy, that one's got a solid back, this one hasn't, has, hasn't, has it? Yeah, Andy's saying, yeah, it's bucket type, isn't it? Yeah, bucket type. Go on, Ash. <laughs> that beast. 
Maybe not that one. I've seen the ultimate self-propelled feed wagon here. It's massive. Just walking up on it now. Look at the length of the milling head on that. Jeez, you've got to have a big pit for that, haven't you? Eh? I'm not rolling that pit. God. Woo. That could pull some feed in, can't it? Jeez. Imagine the price of replacing that. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it's been sold, this one. But the cab comes down so you can get in. Oh, that's on the ram, isn't it? Yeah, that goes up. Oh, yeah. From this ram here, it's up to the top there. And then that'll come down. Big belt, target. Feed it out. Big, big girl inside. Chat with Jamie on the trio let's stand. I think he's going to give me a free mix of wagon for mix of ventures just for charity and that. <laughs> Sounds that way. He's not. <laughs> we are on the spreader bale. So, we love this machine. We do. We really like it. And Michael, if he's about, is um, the farmer that invented it, farmer turned engineer. Make it simple. And we've got that many different bits. Is it, is that the man that I'm speaking of? <laughs> Michael's got a gold medal. What, you've been doing at the Olympics? Oh, um, yes, I, 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 I star, star Olympian. <laughs> no. no, it's for this one, isn't it? What, what was it? Innovate? Yeah, the Innovation for the Livestock Machinery. We've just been awarded a gold medal for the best product, new product of the show, so we're absolutely delighted. Yeah, brilliant. So is this, this like fit on a loader then? Is that what that is for? Oh no, it's a side one, isn't it? Ah! It, it can alter the direction of the rotor by... Ah, left, left or right. right. That is high tech. Hey, that's, that's good. Spreader bale high tech, this is. No, that, but that's what's good about spreader bale. Like, things are simple. That's what we like about it, it's simple. Things are easy to fix. One side to the other. To the right. Yeah. There. It spreads it to the right there. Yeah. And then, as it's shown in the video there, look. Yeah. Chuck it about. Then to the other way. But, oh, no, if we brilliant. Do, if we do that, and don't alter the rotor, it'll come out straight. All right, yeah. Yeah. And if yeah. we alter the rotor, it'll go to the left. Ah, very good. Simplicity, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and you can have it on the micro, the mini, the mini, the midi XL long one. So oh, so plenty of sizes to choose from yeah, then. Yeah. Good. Okay. Seems to be a lot of interest, most interest from farmers. So great. We're absolutely delighted. Yeah, I like it. Well, it's, it's good there, it's like bedding down carb pens and stuff like that, fantastic, yeah. On a TM as well. Yeah. Oosh. Merger. Emerging grass in. Picked it up with a pickup reel, onto the belt, into the middle, boom. I wonder what people think we might be driving with this. Is it Farm Simulator? Is it a game? Is it Xbox? No, it's this beast, isn't it, Ash? So it does actually drive itself, but to control it, maybe to the field or whatever, you drive it with this controller. That's cool, isn't it? I said it was 170 horsepower, um, and it's a robot. So it will work autonomously, fully autonomously. If you wanted to stop it, boom, stop. Um, and at the minute, it's got a, a drill on it with some legs on the front chatting and we might be able to get this on our farm doing a bit of work in the spring because it's supposed to be in the Yorkshire area and um, yeah they're, they're keen to, to get it in a video and show it working and I'm keen to have a look at what it can do and the sort of jobs it looks a beast just looking on the Bailey stand they've got their pink um, Bailey trailer which they've raised £36,000 for breast cancer, which is fantastic. And I've spotted another you. <laughs> 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 
Hello. Hello. You're then? Yes, eventually, eventually. We bumped into <laughs> it's Wardy, so with the nipple pink trailer behind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's your <laughs> yeah, suits, suits the complexion. Look at that. <laughs> have a quick look around the Bailey stand. They've got a new um, paint that they're putting on here to stop the pebbles, I've heard. A trailer on a trailer. That's for the stacking bales. Look at that for a high lift. Beast. What I do like this is a bale chaser. Like I said, we don't we don't need one, and I don't think it would speed our job up. In a lot of situations where you're stacking bales at the side of the field, this is the way to do it. But that's not the way that we were able to run at our spot. Let's have a look, quick look around the Teagle stand. Had a quick scoot around the Teagle stand. Uh, I'm going to do a standalone video that I'm going to drop out um, a little bit later, maybe next month, just on the ins and outs of it. Then we're going to get a bit further along um, down here. This, we bump back into these two. How are we doing? Not bad. Yo. How's your day? We've right. yeah. been to JCB and we've not even got that far. Really? No, not got there. Come on, we will be. We'll go and find it. Right, I think this is probably where I'm going to leave this video because it's getting mega, mega long. It's like, so, it's at are least. Are we taking a little bit of filming? Yes, just a bit. Just over, a bit. Well over 20 under, minutes. Under 40. Under 40. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. under 40. <laughs> so, if you've liked it, press the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. We will get some more footage as we're going around, John Deere, mate. Right. Have, you seen some, have you seen that big John Deere? I have. Oh, right, okay, so we'll see that in the next video. <laughs> and um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. You've got a wave, mate. Come on, Nick, you've got a wave. Come on, Andy. <laughs>